The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi, folks. I'm going to just see as Arm, uh, someone give me a yell as soon as Arm starts trading ARM. I think, will that be the symbol? I think it'll be the symbol. Oh, no, 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 no data. Okay, we'll see what happens. I love doing this live. Um, all right, back at the back of the ranch, we're looking at. Uh, Oh, this is my show. The, 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 I've done this so many times today. The news and then the show, the news and now another show. So let me do this. Um, okay. The Dow right now is trading up 175. This 200 period moving average is way down here at 33.893. And someone asked me about it. it, it when, when does it come in? It's not even in the cards. I put this in my charts only because I like to have these techniques that I've used for decades because they are so informative. They are so prescient, and they tell me an incredible amount, like the nine-period moving average that held so beautifully in the Dow, and I had to use a different indicator to get the sell signal the exact day of the high, August the 1st. But this nine-period moving average then eventually went pink, and it's still pink. And we've got a technique that I call the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. And that's two parallel lines, very narrow lines, within the context sometimes of a falling axe formation. That's lower highs and much lower lows, turning around, trying to make a cup formation. How does it break that resistance line? Well, we went above it just a little while ago when I was doing Tommy's show. And I said, oh, let's see what happens. Well, wait a minute. That was, this is a half an hour into the day. <laughs> The day is young. Anything can happen. And the market keeps wanting to buy. You can see these surgeons all for the last two two weeks or so. You've had these big bounces, but they give back a chunk by the end of the day. Day is young. Remember that. So the weekly chart is going to be so important. I'll talk about that tomorrow. Before I forget, um, uh, for uh, uh, Jew Jewish uh, Tigers, I want to say uh, Happy New Year coming. And uh, well over the, the, the Passover, etc. Uh, so we'll see what happens in the, in the markets because the the expression, as I recall, the expression is usually sell in uh, Rosh Hashanah and buy in Yom Kippur. And but over the last ten years, I think it's just I don't know if it's worked more than once. And I think when it did work, it was a kind of a miss by a couple of days. So all I can say is. We're in a sell mode in the Dow at this particular point from the 1st of August, and uh, that won't change until we get back to about 35,200s. I'll have to um, inaugurate a, a new buy signal, maybe even a buy mode, but we haven't got there. The weekly chart is so important to monitor going to Friday's close because if Friday, the, the low today is, uh, th uh, let's just go to this, um, there. The low today is... 34,687, and we are some uh, 50 points above that. If we, if for whatever reason, we actually close at the low of the day and tomorrow's a lousy day, if we close, here's a Chapman Wave Rome, red Roman candle from last week. If we close under 34,291 for two Fridays, for two weeks, uh, we are looking at the next low down to the 33,500 level. If we close sharply above yesterday's high of 34,871, that's good. That's this big red ugly candle. We can stay in this in this range for a little while longer and use up time rather than price in this consolidation phase. I've been calling it a consolidation phase. So now what I want to look at is within the context of patterns. I don't want to go through everything again other than to just briefly say S&P right now is up 13. It's given back quite a chunk of its gain. This is a gray leg B. Look, here's your gray leg B. Why? Because the, the stochastic didn't hold above 90% and it failed very quickly and I didn't get a buy, a buy signal to buy mode. This is in a buy signal on the short term, the very near term. Overall, it's still in a sell mode. The bigger daily chart. The weekly chart hasn't even given a signal. It's still in a buy mode. It hasn't given a signal of a sell, a sell at all. If it closes under 44.20 any day from now until a week from Friday, 
that's starting to hint that this consolidation is going to turn a little bit ugly. QQQ, here's a demonstration. Now it's only a four, three cents at 374.25. Didn't even get into the Chapman wave. Uh, here's this falling axe formation. It didn't even get into the green or pink on this particular rally. It didn't even get into this. Look, these are easy techniques that I'm just using here, and I demonstrate them in my webinars. If you're a subscriber, you can check them all out. I just discuss these things over and over. And look, it couldn't even get to the pink line, and now it's pulling back. That The weekly chart is still fabulous, all right? And that's because you've got a mix. Look at Amazon. Oops, look at Amazon, A-M-Z-N. Look at that. Another. This is your leg D. I said three days ago there's a chance that Amazon will still go to a leg D, and there it is. There's your leg D. And it's a leg E over the 143.63 high. Now, we've seen it so many times in the market where whether it's days, weeks, or even months and years, prices sometimes come back to within pennies, not just do the dollars, but within pennies of the previous high. Look at the previous high. It was 146.57 way back in, what is it, April or May? August of the week of the 19th of 2022, 146.57, plunges down below 80, and now it's at testing. 146.57 was the high back in August. Here it is, uh, not this August, a year ago, and it tested it once at 143.63, and today's, uh, was it today's high? The high is 145.57. We're in one point away from that previous high in this beautiful cup formation. Look at this, here's your cup formation. Now, I, I didn't draw a left side, right side price tie match on this. I didn't, I mean, I didn't draw the vertical line, but I drew this in and it came within a couple of dollars of the of the left side in the price symmetry, but it's extended a little more in time and it's fascinating. So that's what I'm saying. The reason why, look, Amazon's doing this. Apple is doing that. It had a fantastic move. It got out of its up channel it broke its nine period. Uh, it broke the 914 when it hasn't gone pink. It's really close to going pink. Uh, this is the weekly chart. Let me just open this up a bit. There's your dreaded H. That's the pattern I'm talking about all morning. It just comes once, once the tide has changed. Oh, I took it away. I'm going to get it in right now. So I need. To, I wanted to discuss this, and I'll I'll do it in a moment. Please don't let me. For someone just remind me. Just. Put tide in the den, put tide for so that I can remember. So here's Apple with the dreaded H pattern. I spoke about that when I was doing Tommy's show a little earlier on. Uh, not acting very well at all, especially with new products coming up. So I want to do this. So I was asked um, about this, and I, I didn't get there. Dr. H wanted to know. So mRNA. This is Moderna. M. Moderna, mRNA. Come on, type it in correctly. There it is, Moderna. So uh, the question was, uh, no, it wasn't. It was a statement. I'm looking to buy Moderna as a very long-term buy and hold, and I want to know. Uh, it was basically was looking at, and I looked at it the other day as both a stock and as an option. I'll talk about that when we get back. And this is the play that I haven't implemented, but I am thinking I might consider it, but I'll not now. Let me get back. Dow's up 139, uh, S&P's up 15. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, we're back. Basil Chapman, 1,528. S&P's uh, up 13. Oh, I never even looked at that chart. Uh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Good. Dreaded H right there. There's another dreaded H right there. It did hit that level that we were looking at. Took about... Uh, it missed it by a point and then took about a point and a half and then took a couple of bars, got there. But this is the pattern, the Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down. I believe now I have to put a down arrow for this 10-minute chart at a peak F because it just flipped to S, which is a cell on the one, one indicator, the 914. But all the others have already turned down. And this is my biggest fear. One of the reasons why I stepped aside when I said to subscribe, I was thinking of getting a, a three times long on the Dow if we got a pullback and then just raise stops as it was going up and take a little bit off. But it was just too much work and I just didn't trust it. I just couldn't trust it. So I said, I'm going to look at Myrna. This is Moderna, Inc., Biotech, COVID, many other trials going on. And I then someone in the den said, <clears throat> I would never own Myrna. Evil stock, in my opinion. Short would be a different story. So it's funny because I I, I have um, heard different uh, different comments people have made about Myrna because I'm in the Boston area. I'm in Newton, Massachusetts, uh, the Garden City, and Myrna is Moderna is in a suburb about one suburb away, maybe two suburbs away, fairly near here. We drove by recently by accident. I didn't know it was there. Um, the most important thing about it is that I don't feel any way about these the about uh, pharmaceuticals or the biotechs anything. I am alive because of modern me modern te medical technology. I it just there is no question about it. I'm alive. I'm happy as a clam. Uh, I would like if all the drug prices would come down, etc. I'd love that. But what it's done is I – all I can say is that if they come out with whatever it is that works, I'm happy as a clam. Other things can go on. But I'm only looking at the chart. I couldn't care less whether this chart was a Tory or a, a conservative, whatever it is, in any different country or any, any – whatever. I'm looking at the chart, and I'm going to go through that except a, a bell rang. Um, and it is John in Philly. John, I'm going to go straight to you. We'll come back 
to Moderna. How are you? Basil, I'm very, uh, very well. And uh, by the way, double thank you for pulling all your triple duty uh, this past week, filling in for hosts who had uh, obligations or vacation scheduled. So thanks a bunch. That's my pleasure. As long as I can do it, I'm around if I can do it. Thank you very much. And you would like to look at? You know, I, I'm calling uh, to ask you about um, the bond futures or the 30-year bond yield. Or, you know, Basil, it might be worthwhile just to look at the proxy for both of those and just scrutinize TLT. Um, so I might ask you if you could pull up your TLT I've got charts uh, on uh, multiple time frames, your daily, weekly, uh, monthly. And very specifically, Basil, I've got this question. Now, first, I make the observation that, uh, and I'm looking at a TLT uh, chart myself, I see that uh, in October of 2022 and August this year, TLT has made a low about 92. And my within, question within is, pay, yes. as you do your work, do you see the set of conditions by which TLT busts under 92 and does so with wide price spread, accelerated selling? That would be the vocabulary of Tommy O'Brien. And uh, if you do, how much lower or what, excuse me, what might be your lower target if, in fact, 92 on TLT is busted? And uh, uh, if, if it is busted, what sort of downside targets you might come up with, please? So that is my question. Uh, frankly, could I just listen off air? Listen off air and watch my charts closely because I cannot do the TLT without doing the TBT, the inversion. I love mirror images and that's, that's what I'll do. So thank you so much for the call and let me get right to it. So the TLT, folks, is the Lehman 20-year Treasury bond fund. They call it the 20-year, but actually they have longer durations as well. But it's called the iShares 20-year Treasury bond ETF. And um, right now it's trading down 48 cents at 93.73. So the pattern that I always talk about, markets made up of three core directional patterns as far as I'm concerned, straight line up, straight line down. That's one. Two is a cup formation, but the cup formation could be a V, but you're going from one point down and then back to that point. How you test the, the, the level when you're on the return is really important. That's number two. Number three is arch formation. It could be an inverted V like we saw in the 10-minute uh, chart, the Eiffel Tower straight up and straight down, but you're going from one point up. Usually that fails at a peak A or B. And if it does that and takes out the left side low, how low can it get? That means you've got a combination of one and two or one and three. One and two on the left here is look straight down, arch over, fail, and come back and retest. Have we got that? We've got it once. We've got it twice, a little one, three times. And the fourth one often is quite big. And that's the one that does the really, this is the, this is the eruption. This is where... Either you, it's an internal high with a uh, residual low where you've got the earthquake and then you've got the, the um, aftershock, which can be bigger, smaller, or not at all. Uh, and that's really what we're looking at here. So in that context, I'm going to move this aside and show you something else. Uh, before I do that, on the upside, you go straight up. If I can find my mouse, there it is. So you go straight up. You come down, and then what do you do? You test the left side high. So you've got the lowercase h, red h. We've seen that it often can, if it holds the left side, it can make another h, which becomes the lowercase h to a lowercase m. Yeah, you've got the cup going from a cup to a u, double u formation as a potential. Right, get that out the way. What do we have? We have the monthly chart, the 91.85 uh, October low, is right there. You go to a peak A and you roll over. And what do you do? You come back down 
And I just need to test what that bell was. Okay, we'll get back there in a moment. Uh, um, Gara, you're waiting? Just hold on, Gara, we'll, we'll get to you. So he has the arch formation. And what did it do? It stopped right at 92.23, not 91.85, but higher. That means so far, it's a successful H pattern. It's actually got the H pattern to M right inside there. Looks like a bit of a heart. And now what is happening is there was one single spike, Chapman Wave Red, inverted Roman candle, and now we've, the second week, it looks like we're going to close under that. That's a big negative. The weekly chart shows the nine period moving area is still pink and very wide. It means to get this pink green again above the 14, you would have to see 120 to at least 99.80 to 120 in the uh, TLT. And that doesn't look possible right now. So that's the weekly chart with very poor technicals. But look at this, the on-balance volume. I'm going to go through that. It looks like it's oversold. And here's the data. I'll be back and we'll talk about this. Um, and Gary, if you don't mind holding, I'll be with you as soon as I'm finished this. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So we just had this dreaded H right here in the one minute chart. It went down, took out, and within three bars, it came right back in, and now it's gone to it's trying to trade. And that's what I keep saying, that money somehow wants to be buying this market um, so we'll see. So I just wonder, as I'm doing this final thing on the TLT, and I'll do much more of it, but basically what I'm saying is that the, this, the downside pressure 
for selling bonds is quite intense. But with all this time that is taken, it hasn't yet taken out the 91.85 low on the weekly chart from October. But if you look at the TBT, this is the proof of the pudding that the TBT, the inversion, has gone to a peak, a leg B right now, underneath the 36.44 peak F high. And that just says to me that the ultra short Lehman 20 year Treasury bond ETF um, is lagging. And if you put it together with the TNX.x, here we go. This is, oh, I typed it on the chart. Type it in the little box. Here we go. Dollar T, TNX. Let me check. I've got it there. Yep, TNX. There it is. Look, that almost retested the high of 43.33, the 43.33 high back in October of last year, plummeted in yields. This is the 10-year Treasury note. This is the yield uh, down to uh, the 32s. And now look what's happened. 43.62, it broke out in a peak E. And it's saying to me, if you look at the weekly chart, this is exactly the area where you would start to see some kind of resistance. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, before we break to the downside on the TLT, before we really break to the upside in the TBT and the 10-year TNX, I think we're very close. And I'm watching this really, for instance, the dollar, fabulous move up today. It too is getting close to a resistance area. So within that context, um, within that context, all I can say is that um, I'm watching closely because if there's a TLT close on a weekly basis for two consecutive weeks, if the TLT closes below 89.30, let's call it 89, that's a different thing altogether. Then that TBT will retest its highs. But so far, we're in this area of some support, but those are the levels I'm looking at. Garo, how are you? I'm, I'm very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you for taking my call. My pleasure. Um, um, Yes, uh, we're calling regarding rig. Uh, yes. I would appreciate if you have a look at your charting system to see that uh, how far this can, this may go up. And comparing to ERX, of course, ERX is is a directional. I am long on both of them, rig and ERX, but I have about two three thousand shares with rig. I want to I want to see that. What is your idea regarding rig and how far it can go, please? So, okay, uh, let me just do one thing at a time. So RIG is a Transocean Limited offshore drilling oil and gas. And I showed earlier on that Schlumberger also kind of in that area um, had a better run to the upside. And what I'd said about a month ago, as I said, I think RIG is outstanding, but I think there's a lot from the chart. There's a lot of resistance under nine in the 860, 8, uh, 8, 80 area. And I think that's still the case. So all I can say is looking out, I think this is a digestive phase. So the first thing I have to say is if if there is a pullback in rig and it's trading at 8.59 right now, and at any point in the next week, uh, let's take it all the way Friday a week. If by Friday a week, any day, it doesn't close, it just has to take out um, – Eight dollars and third, uh, eight, eight dollars. If at any point it closes under eight and it's at eight fifty-eight right now, it tells me that it's going to go into a sideways consolidation. All the technicals are suggesting that it is still a very strong stock, but I, I think it's starting to stall a little bit. Now the other thing is, in the very short term, there could be a catalyst that just gets it to trigger a bounce to eight. 98 or nine dollars and two cents just in just to touch nine if it touches nine on the very short term it's then raise the base of support but absolutely what i would do is if it gets to the anywhere close to nine i take a little bit off for money management and i just say okay now tell me where you're going why because everything i'm looking at here is very positive but it hasn't used that positivity to break out and that just says to me, it's digesting the huge gains that it's had. That's what I'm looking at. So I hope that, let me give you the numbers again. A close yes. under $8 yes. says it's going to go into a sideways range. It will be within a border, and the border could be between 750 
and 8, 860 or 880, and it'll be stuck there for a little while. Any break, it doesn't even have to close, but any break towards 9, if it just touches 9, that's a very good, that's very good action. And then I have to consider that it can go a little higher, but that's where I would take something off for money management. But it's acted really, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm saying worst case is a consolidation. Best case is a sudden break from here to the upside. I hope that helps you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I put that uh, to sell 3,000 shares at 860. Uh, we, I have about one penny above. Uh, the ones to 860, I'm going to sell them all. I, I'm, uh, that, 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 uh, that was excellent. There you are, 860. It's going to sell it right now. And uh, would you please have a look at ERX, please? So I have not done a notation on ERX. This is the energy bull two times long. So I'm right. going to take it from this, uh, this trough right here in the daily chart and call this A, B, C. This is peak A. There's peak B. And this almost made a C. Now, normally what I would do is if it's so close, I'd make this a phantom peak. I'd call it a peak C and make it red and say, I want to be ahead of the game. I don't want to be behind. So at 7114, all, this is a different chart. Here, all the technicals are positive and the price is moving up. It's fascinating because this is a conglomerate of others. It isn't just one stock. <clears throat> the MACD is good. Stochastic's flat at 87%. On balance volume's pulling back a little bit. So here I'm going to say to you, the left side high is just taken out. And that's the high of um, the, the, seven, the week of the 17th of February of 70.34. It's already at 71.58. So the next high is going to be 74.79. So that corresponds to what I'm looking at in, in crude oil, where I said the 74 is different things altogether. But I'm saying the pattern says the crude oil at 74 is the left side high that would be a target, and it's doing well. So this, it's interesting that rig, for instance, I had the call about, a, I had a question about Slumberg earlier on. Yet is stalling a little bit, but it did break to the upside. But it also has in the weekly chart a cup and ladle that says at some point, even if it pulls back, it should still go higher. So each yes. one is a little bit different. So I'm going to do them differently. <clears throat> Rig has the parameters I just said. It's just kind of stalling. Not bad. It's just stalling. Uh, ERX is the actual uh, ETF itself, two times long. It's acting very well. Um, in this case, I would say, uh, oh, that's a break. Oh, it's just a break. So I would say. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. 68. Thank you for your okay, time. Thank you. XLE, 60, ERX, 6880 is your first support level. It is acting very well. Thank you, Garrow. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So, talking about bar symmetry, look at this. Yes, the one minute bar it made a high at 10 o'clock right there. 10.01, it went to 45, 42, 25. It pulls back, pulls back, goes pink, with pink, and then it flips over right here. Nice turnaround, and it goes the same number of bars, and it's one bar late in getting back to that high, and it goes to a D. This is exactly, I mean, this is live. This is exactly what I was looking at, um, and I drew this in. As I was drawing it in, uh, this all happened, the, the three-minute rest that we had for that break. This is what happened. There it is. And it's telling me that the hundred, that the 10-minute chart on the E-mini, as I said before, buying just keeps coming in. This is not bear market. In a bear market activity, you get the Dow futures are down 280 to 350 early in the morning. The S&P is down 48 to 52. And then it tries to rally and fails and closes at the low of the day. Then the next day, overnight, uh, the overseas markets get spooked and they, they, they tank it. So the next day, the S&P opens up horrible. Then it tries to rally again, but it closes a second day. And that VIX is screaming up into the high teens and then it goes to the 20s. This is completely different. That's what I'm talking about this as a daily. I've had the daily signals. The weekly signals haven't given anything yet. And that's the same thing. Look, here's the 10-minute chart. It went weak. It did a big pullback from 45, 47-ish um, area right down to the 44th, uh, 29s. And now it's trying its best to, to just make a – it made the arch formation. Now it's trying to make the V-shaped formation. So there is buying, and I just need to cover something now just for Myrna. Uh, so uh, sorry, Gary, if you're still listening, I didn't quite finish. So the support on the XRE, uh, ERX, is at 68.83 for the nine-period exponential moving average and 67.61 for the 14 period moving average. And you can see one is much higher than the other. It's really positive prices above it. So at any point, if you're looking longer term, which you might be, um, if at any point this starts to close underneath the 66.85 below of the 11th of September, then all of a sudden that consolidation is going to be working for you. But even the cup formation or rectangle formation in the weekly says, hey, <sighs> It's still it's still doing quite nicely. So this overall that goes together with XLE. I was asked about that. XLE looks almost the same. And here I can't give any alternative count. This is a C, F slash C. I'm going to call it a C for now. I might have to change it, but it's acting well. Getting a little toppy, but acting very well. And broke out of the falling X formation for a cup pattern. This looks closer to the XRE, and it's going for the left side high. In this case, it's broken the one of the 27th, week of the 27th of January of 91, 93.15, and it seems to be headed towards 94.71. It's at 93.38, and that gives you this cup formation in the monthly chart as well. So, so far, all of that's acting very nicely. Now, a couple of things I needed to look at is just back to MRNA. So this is the way I would look at it. 
And um, I, I've hesitated with this. You remember there was a story that I was with my wife. Where she was having her eyes examined so because she had drops. I said, I'll take you in. And I'm sitting there. I've got my computer. It was during the day. I've got my com laptop. And I've, I've got my charts open. And this nurse, I don't know who it was, she goes past and she suddenly says, you know, I, I just got to ask you about that. She said, uh, what are you doing? So I said, oh, this is, this is the stock market. These are just charts. I'm just looking at them and putting in some lines and stuff. So she said, oh, you know, I've never known anything about it, but my boyfriend talked me into buying Moderna. And I'm almost sure it was right here. It was in the summer, so it must have been somewhere around 80 or something. And she said, I know nothing about it. I said, oh, really? I said, you know what? Hold it. Don't do anything. But I never ever got to see her again to say that when it went from the 80s, or maybe it was 110, but it was really low. I forgot to tell her when it hit 497.49. Oh, by the way, take a little bit off. I have no, she could still be in it. Who knows? You never know, right? It's at 110. So, um, so this is a stock that has a, a huge bunch of stories that are going from, for, from what I can understand. But as a chart formation, it's starting to form the sideways move that says, this is the move that says either it starts to form a base of support or that's going to break like NG, natural gas. Look at this base of support. But this is purely sideways within a range, stuck in a range. And it could stay there for a long time, which it has. But this is different. Here I know that winter's coming. Here I know that at some point, there has to be an alleviation of the selling pressure, which means there must be a glut of natural gas somewhere uh, that's just not getting, not being utilized. At some point, that's going to be uh, diminish, diminished. And then you're going to start to get a break to the upside. That's different. Here, it's purely guesswork. So when I look at a chart, all I can say is, if you want to be long, I would much rather not have the stock, I just know that I'm spending X amount of money which could dissipate and go to nothing, but I know exactly what I can lose rather than hold the stock and see it start. If it starts to look, if this cracks key support and trades under $90 at any point, 95 was the low, here it is at 108, that's not bad percentage-wise, but a stock that was in the 400, almost 500 area. So all I'm saying is that Doc if you want to get into this, and you did mention the option, I would look at the option and I'd go far out. I'd go maybe even December, November or December, and I'd look at, I would actually prefer, if this is the only thing you're getting, is to go in the money. In other words, it's 110. I'd go for the 105s in the money and wait for it to diminish to the point where you're paying maybe three points over uh, the strike. I don't know if that's going to be possible when it's so far out. But I try to get it as close to, and that means that it needs to retest the low that was made at 100, in the 103 area. Uh, I wouldn't even fuss between a point or two if you're looking at an option that way out. But 105, I'd even prefer 100. Go with the thing. And it means that if it has a fantastic move to 140, you're not making as much as you thought, but you're doing really well, but you only have an option. It's much better than being stuck with a stock and it goes under 90, then I don't know what to say. So that's the way I would look at it. And the more I think about it, there are so many other things I'd rather buy a, a call option in uh, looking out, and that's how I would look at it. So I hope, I hope that helps you. Meantime, uh, I wanted to go through some other things as we were about to wrap up this section. So here we go, the dollar, DXY doing very nicely, Oh, the high of the day in my work, 105.30. Um, look at the EUR and the U. See the euro, the dollar chart. I don't see anything here that says, and unless it's just a plummet like we saw in uh, what was it, um, um, M A A A A, -A X S M. Oh, X X M. Uh, and this we and this we're looking at something that plummeted and at a leg F and then just smashed. I don't see that right here. I just see just steady moves up, 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 up. Not up and away, but just up, up, up. And now look at the euro. Euro is taking out in the G C. Remember, I said for those of you who use Chapman methodology, when you get to a G, check 
carefully to see if it's not a GCSC and it's either going to make a cup formation to the downside, uh, an arch formation to the downside or a cup formation to the upside. There it is. There's the key that we would have anticipated. Not good. And it's broken. That uptrend line. Look at this. Chapwick inside track and channel. And it's way under it for the second week now. Oh, this is not good. Let me do the USD JPY as we go to the break. Um, yeah, just stuck. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So let me just do this. I wanted to do a whole bunch of other things that I've written down here for the third day and I never got to, but I need to show this because it's live. So look, we did this little cup formation in the one minute chart, right? I used that as the fulcrum. That is the midpoint, the plumb line. But when you're looking at the left side, you have to look at you, your plumb line might move. So I chose this as a plumb line. And look what happened. It goes green and it goes green. It takes out that high that went to. And look at this Chapman Wave inside wedge target uh, resistance line. I love to keep these lines and just let them float to the upside. So it flows to the upside. Where does it coincide? Right there. Right at that exact moment. Right there at. 10.52. 10.52 goes to 45.47.50. What was the high on the left side? 45.47.75. I, I mean, you can't make this up. It just, it's just, it's amazing how the symmetry of the market words works. It's, uh, but it would be great if it had plumb lines in the middle that were just perfect. 
sometimes it isn't perfect. You have to choose. You have to know which one you're going to use. Now what we've done is the V-shaped pattern in the 10-minute chart. Look at that. I said the arch might go to a V-shaped pattern. And here we are, retesting that left side high. And that's what I meant Then I said, buying just keeps coming in. But at the end of the day, we'll see whether or not you get the selling. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to choose for, for a, a position we just took a few days ago, something I've looked at for ages. I chose something that I, I, I've really liked. I, I disagree completely with the, the, the premise of the company. Not the point. The point is the chart is the chart. And we got in. And then we waited for a little bit of a pullback, and it gave us an extra point so that we could, we could have a core position, and we've added to that. And now the add can be the trading position, hopefully, and we've got our core position. I'd love to do that, and we'll see if it's going to work. So far as it works, but the day is young. See what happens. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Uh, check out my for my daily news. There's okay, some pretty nice things going on there, <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow. Um, yeah, thank you for great program.